is Keith. I'm Nick. I'm Young. I'm the Mockney tonight. Hey, and this is Redemption Reacts. So today we have RM Soul, which so. is uh, track number two on the mixtape, right? Correct? Correct. Dude. We just got done listening in Tokyo. That was a fucking experience. Um, so now we're here in Seoul. Uh, this is the lyric video. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, hop into it. Ooh. Shit. These shots is crazy. You know, this is just like... Turn me up in the headphones. This is visual porn to me, like... <laughs> Like the joints, yeah. No, I, I see it in the middle. Yeah, yeah. 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 Feel like I'm on Space Mountain. That's crazy. Star Fox. Like this is turned into a '64 game. Like put that on everything. Every time I was in Don't Seoul, play like I was that. Every time I was in Busan, I was in Korea. Every time I was in Busan, I was in Korea. Every time you called, I said I was with you. <laughs> That is the only thing I have to say about the song. I just wish they would have layered that part. Like so, 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 so. And like kind of just a little that, extra stuff that, that a, a makes little, it, takes the song. A little bit of else. sprinkle, man. Just a little a little salt bay on it. You know what I mean? Just Yeah, they trying they trying to echo it out a little bit. Like you said, it, it definitely would have like layered. Just kinda that like up. overlay it and like overlap it, Mike, and just hit it in different registers so it kind of bounces. That would have been perfect. 
perfect song, but mm-hmm. I mean, still on it's some, just, yeah, still, still on some shit, man. Like, like I said in the other video, man. Anytime you just can can get in this bag where you kind of just doing different shit, because at this point he is just kind of he's painting on these tracks. And I wanted to bring up another point too, where that is a beautiful I, I word. This, um. Remember, some, sometimes we have conversations outside of mm-hmm. like React and we talk about um, this is a safe place. We talk about like what members might have been able to sustain certain tracks by themselves completely. Mm-hmm. Um, and since obviously he writes for everybody and he picks like, you know, like where everyone goes and stuff like that. Um, Imagine like this could have been a BTS song almost, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but he was able to kind of do everything on here. Mostly because he he was singing and everything, but it is in a cadence where it doesn't it it didn't sound like his voice was ever uncomfortable, right? Or it didn't sound like it was anything that was too high for him or too low that yeah. I you know I didn't think he hit. Nonetheless, it still was amazing, and I love that he was able to even kind of tap into that. But uh, now the wheels are just turning in my head with uh, like his projects in general and just uh, like his pen because uh, it, it was almost back to what you were saying and shit. The whole uh, like. Being able to dictate where you go on tracks, where someone else goes on tracks, and everything else and shit like this, but this would have been basically drawing a place. Yeah, because because now, now I'm thinking like this song was amazing too, by the way. Mm-hmm. But now I am low key thinking about damn uh, how J.K. would have sounded on the uh, on that V mm-hmm. on I hate you so like you know what I mean. Definitely if, um, as a BTS song. As, as, song as a yeah. BTS, I don't know why my will started turning uh, when I started. Or maybe Jen because Jen is from Seoul, so mm-hmm. they're they're both from yeah, that yeah, area, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, outside of that, this look, this 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 was real decent, man. Just the uh, the lyric video was a little bit different and stuff, and a little trippy. But I like that a lot. Uh, I'm loving this RM sound um, because, especially from the background that he comes from, with mostly like just the urban street uh, like hip hop stuff, it is very good to hear him play in these lanes um, because you probably gonna hear this all night and shit. It's just he's an artist, and it's uh, it's clear that like he can play. In any field niggas want to play in. If y'all want to just straight rap and y'all just want to clean 16 or just one bars, we can do that. If you want to get in the melodic bag, we can do that and shit. Clearly. Um, yeah, it's just like if you want to get in certain pockets where I can, you want to rap God flow, I can do that. If you want me to slow it down, we can do that. Like whatever niggas want to get into, I can get into. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it bodes well for him. Um, but that's my spiel. Ah, right, man. Uh, this, like I said, this was pretty dope in. It was the polar um, opposite in a way. It's still ambient, but it's a light ambiance as opposed to like the darker flighty ambiance. What? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a different kind of ambiance with this one. Um, this one's definitely a more in a, like a higher key. Um, I thought this is beautiful, man. Like, once again, the wordplay and everything of soul and soul, he actually did employ he did that it. here. He employed, you know, kind of a love and I mean, hate. did we ever think that he wasn't? I actually didn't think anybody, really? any of them would do that. You like about anybody hanging it. fruit? I don't think they would. Well, obviously, if you speak English, you would. But, like, I don't think they would think about it like, oh, soul to soul. Or they would be gotcha. actually. Through. I feel I, like I, they would be like, okay, nigga. We I would have like, thought definitely if nobody else would RM, mm-hmm. would. It's like a Philly rapper throwing Philly cheesesteak something in his room. Yeah. Like, Oh, brother. Or a Rocky oh, pun, yeah. or Rocky I crack it like the Liberty Bell. <laughs> oh, like, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, we get it. <laughs> yeah. I got the eagle on my hip. Yeah, I don't miss. Yeah. It's always a school kill. Yeah. 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 Shooters like the Sixers. Yeah. yeah. The bullets like. I'm a doctor, no J. You'll run before you shoot. Uh, <laughs> ben Simmons is like. Uh, <laughs> you just made me hate Philly rappers. <laughs> nice people here. Yo, them Philly puns are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking tasty. tasty cake. Butterscotch, your crimpers. Okay, uh, take his microphone. Uh, it's right. so, oh, brother, this, this guy stinks. stinks. How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? Get your next <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, this song was definitely so cool and flight. This is like a type of song I would want to wake up to. Um, I don't know if you guys know, there's a person or people, maybe uh, there's a channel for sure, um, called Do Piano. And they 
done they've covered like every fucking bts song some of them are actually available for streaming on apple music and I think it might have been they pianoize them, right? I think that might have uh, they like to make them piano versions. Straight up piano versions. I think versions, that's yeah. the channel I was on when I used to listen to the Blood, Sweat, and Tears piano versions. Yeah, yes. I think I heard the Blood, Sweat, and Tears. I, I think I heard um, I need you, man. Yeah, and I think I've heard I the I, I heard need that you one too. there too. That's literally what thing. I wake up every morning to to I need you to the I need you piano version. It's just so like tranquil and it helps me get my day started. But this is like a song. Uh, this is one of those songs that I could like also put on that just Good Morning playlist. Shuffle this and. So just have me like flighty and kind of you know ready to go and about my day and just I don't know this this also reminds I guess because we're watching a visualizer a lyric video mm-hmm. it also made me think about like walking downtown mm-hmm. or like you know just like nicer parts of downtown rather like just walking through the buildings and kind of just meandering around like I don't have nowhere to go I'm just walking around this motherfucker like a tourist and shit. I was thinking about the bike path um, yes. on the side of the school kill not far from Kelly the Kelly Drive I love Kelly like, Drive right that's by, my favorite part uh, of the city 30th Street Station like mm-hmm. that when you go down those stairs like how they got like the bike path and the school yep. kill river and everything else matter of fact right up above from that it's a part of uh, University City like where the, the houses are and everything mm-hmm. Where you actually see the job and like downtown, like everything mm-hmm. from this is kind of like elevated. That's another place I imagine just sit. <laughs> Somebody just sitting there on a blanket eating a fucking sandwich or some shit. Oh, the one on the, in a, the, um, the parking garage? No, 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 no. That's all a nice the, spot too. All the way around. Say you're coming, you just got out, not off, got out 76, but um, you're coming from the art museum, but you're going towards west, right? Okay. So you're going towards Mantua. But instead of making the right to go to straight up west, you make a left to go to the job. Okay. That first street right there that you can turn left on. And it'll take you there. You'll see like a little park right there behind the houses. And you see everything, all of downtown right oh, there. Oh, he's, he's, you're still in Mantua. You're yeah. talking about. Uh, it's literally you know, University that, City right that, behind that uh, park, Castle Junior. That park, that's, you know, the bridge where you used mm-hmm. to have all the faces and shit on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, he oh, t- yeah, oh, yeah, he okay. talking about right there at the yeah, bottom yeah. of Mantua. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. But, like, but like, yeah, you, right, can, you right, can sit on that park, like you said, and see everything. All, all right of behind, downtown. Like, Drexel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally behind them Drexel houses. So, like, you just. That's what this makes me think of just sitting there like eating a sandwich or something like mm-hmm. out of picnic vest. Sandwiches? I'm just That's like a like a hippie. Yeah. Imagine all, a hippie. All, I, I was about to say, it's that kind of area in there? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely that I mean, area. It is now for sure. But um no, this is like I said, he's two for two so far on this project, man. And uh I love it, man. Contrary to like I said, what people say in these comments or you know, try to <laughs> gaslight and all this other stuff. I will like, fight man, all of you. Um, I really do love one video uh, at a time. I love all the music we react to in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but I really do have a special place in my heart for BTS. So I love finding new music from them and mm-hmm. getting new music from them that really like kind of touches me in different ways or you know just uh, strikes up different vibes and everything like that. So no matter who it is, whether it's my bias, quote unquote, or not, it. It's, it's just always good to get these type of songs. And like I said, I love that he's in this type of bag so far mm-hmm. with this project. It really, it's really dope from seeing kind of uh, super rigid, logical RM and everything like that. Flighty, kickback, kind of just in his own vibe, Nam June, is, is pretty dope too. So, Yeah, I like too on here that uh, his inflection on the course is almost worded to me almost just like he's almost referencing soul not so much like it's a significant other mm-hmm. but it's almost like i hate your soul or i yeah. hate your soul and i think like that i just kind of like that it's almost like the city is a person huh? definitely it's he definitely lie. Pretends, uh, i forgot it's a particular word i was thinking of but he definitely gives the city kind of like um like a personality and everything, just talking to it and just talking about it. Kind of reminds me of like Kanye with Homecoming. Uh, dog, that, that's where my mind was at. Do you yeah. think about the now and then? God tier song. He got dog. Uh, this is my favorite on that album. Yeah, it's, it's just like, uh, or just him speaking on like a love hate relationship with, mm-hmm. you know, the place that he's from. And I think we all have that. We love the pride and the sports and everything like that, but we hate some of the nonsense that goes on here. I hate that these fucking roads ain't fixed. There's, it's, it's always under construction here, but don't shit ever get fixed. But, 
you know enough about me. And I, <laughs> and and um and I like how we we had a conversation on that before about like just civil pride where you live at and everything like that, mm-hmm. and how rap here, how some K-pop fans tend to think that everyone should just know about K-pop or like to kind of keep K-pop from people. Um, and we were talking about how. If you think everybody here should know BTS, imagine somebody who does music here who feels like everyone in the U.S. should know them. They can't even get people here to listen to their music versus someone else who's playing in other people's backyards yeah. uh, respectfully like to get people to listen to that music. In a market that's like 10 times bigger than Seoul's. I mean, than uh, mm-hmm. Korea's. Than you Korea's. know what I'm saying? Um, and just... All that to say that, um, like, I like when everything kind of just gets back to where you're from. Um, just like, I guess, soul pride maybe mm-hmm. is, is a good way to uh, to do it. And I I kind of like their songs when they're, uh, like, just talking about hometowns and they start throwing in references to things maybe they know that we don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and this song is just kind of like one of those other songs that seems very personal. And uh, I like that part. Um, I thought the song was... Really good, uh, but as, as good as it was, it was also off putting because if you told me, hey, yo, the first two tracks of an RM uh, solo CD are going to be like two vibey ass tracks um, <laughs> that, you, that you know that you want to just put on on a late night drive and just cruise the boulevard with, I, I'd have probably called you a liar and told you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, but I did. I'm just spreading good information. <laughs> <laughs> but but know. no, this was actually really good, and again, it's surprising because it's not what I would think from a solo album, which makes me now wonder. The new solo album, the new solo offering that we're going to get, what is it going to be like? Um, because, of course, this is a you know an older album. He's grown. He's been through more things. He's seen more life. Um, he's been through more hard times, more frustrations, more good times. So those things are always reflected in music, um, just like they would be reflected in any writer's writings or poems or you know scripts or whatever. Um, I just kind of can't wait to see what life has given him to reflect to us mm. as far as uh, the music aspect of it. Um, yeah, but back to like to the song specifically, amazing song. I think I, you heard me in the beginning of the video, the only issue I have, and it's not even really an issue with me being nitpicky, is just I would say would have kind of like overlapped and overlaid and, you know, that's played with the soul a little bit toward the end, just kind of like give different voice inflections and Play it, let it bounce around to left and right on your on your, in your headphones or in your speakers. Um, but the video is is crazy. I think I don't think the video, even though this is like probably a fan made video, I don't think it is though because that looks like actually him in the car. But even though it could be a fan made video, um, I don't think it could have encompassed the song any better um, if it was an official video. I don't think it could have done any better if it was an official video. This was just spot on. Um, it gave soul personality. It gave soul uh, a pulse. It gave soul a heartbeat. It, you know, kind of like Nick was saying, it made you feel like, um, along with the lyrics, that soul was a person that, that he was talking to, that he was writing a love letter to, um, that he was speaking intimately to, that only him and soul know about. Um, it's just, I love those things because they kind of peel back the facade of what you think your favorite star is. Uh, what you think, you know what I mean, how, or how tough or how meek or how whatever they appear to be in front of the camera or on stage or whatever their persona is. Ah, um, <laughs> it peels that back and you get to see them in their most intimate and most vulnerable. Um, I love projects like that because it brings you closer to that artist. Uh, more so than anything you probably could have just Googled or, you know, happened to gleam at a concert or you know whatever they said at an award show this is probably a little bit more intimate than that because even when they're on stage doing those things they still have to wear a facade um they still have to you know be somebody maybe not somebody who they're not but being cool and calm and composed but maybe under the surface they're not um but like this just seems like an unapologetic love letter you know what i mean um and i, I love that uh I don't know how the rest of the album is. I, I wonder if he if he actually went so far as to do a whole album this way. That would be crazy. Mm-hmm. But I think at some point there's a flip sw- uh, switch flip, and uh, we might get like the the give it to me the um, the RM that's just like grungy and 
whatever you know, I know give it to me. It's not him. I know that's Augustine. But, like, that flip switch no, I know what you mean. No, just we just kind of get that, that grittiness where um, we kind of expect, or not even kind of expect, but we kind of seen in other solo offerings from him. Yeah, mm-hmm. anything else you know? Oh, no, I'm great. Yeah, man. Like you said, I'm I'm very much more interested to see just how everything plays itself out because these two songs definitely are kind of like in the same realm. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder, does that switch it at all or does he stay in this? Because uh, mind you, this is the second John. This is mono. Uh, RM could have, the RM, the mixtape could have just been kind of more of the rap stuff. Mm-hmm. And then maybe this is kind of the second side. Uh, I know it's a bit weird because we went second album first exactly. um, as opposed to first album and stuff like they that. Care. It's, they, it's just wanted, just, they just want to see it's just, well, I, Everyone seemed like they wanted mono. If you were to do an album, they wanted mono first. Um, so you do know, you think I that's guess because, take that as... Uh, do you think that's because mono, from what their understanding of our understanding of him is, they, we, we would think that the first one would be, you know, on the nose for what we expect from RM and mono would be kind of like the, oh... Mm. This is this is a surprise. Oh, I don't know what people like like thought. Yeah. I feel like RM could do anything. So it's just you know, yeah. it's just he's he's wrote everything. So it's just what would not be in his wheelhouse. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. But no, I get what you mean. Like on surface, people might just yeah. go, oh, you thought it was just gonna be rap, huh, nigga? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Y'all they think we rapping? <laughs> they think we rapping? Um, but yes, I'm very interested to uh, see what's next because I think next we have Moonchild, mm. um, which, which has like a video a, and everything. That doesn't sound like an upbeat song. Um, <laughs> you never know with with, uh, with RM and with BTS and general. You start pulling out the blicky. <laughs> He's like Moonchild. This is about to be a ballad. This shit was like ah ah. <laughs> Featuring Simon Dominic. Like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other RM tracks you want to hear. Jump in the comments and let us know.